My Lord, allow me now to come back to the Form 34As that I had wanted to speak to. And these are samples of the 34As received by Ryan of Dinga's agents and compared to the returns as provided by the IEBC. My Lord, we have provided an analysis of this. From page 20 of our submission, my Lord, from page 20. And we are going to make a demonstration of only 25 from 34 is very quickly. My Lord, we are going to suggest to you that it reveals two things. One, that there are many and grave inaccuracies and irregularities in those Form 34As, either by negligence and in our submission in most cases by willful intention. But secondly, my Lord, that those mistakes appear to adopt a consistent pattern of increasing the votes for President Uhuru Kenyatta and decreasing the votes for Prime Minister Raila Odinga. My Lord, the first document is <clears throat> refers to Igembe South constituency, a particular polling station known as URAT Buying Company. And in Nyangasi's affidavit, I will cover between paragraph 12 to paragraph 69. Lord, this would be page, 50, page 75 of document number five. Page 75 of document number five, which is DN01. My Lord, in that entry, the total votes received by Raila Odinga are 66. My Lord, if you look at how it's translated to Form 34B, which is document number seven at page 120, my Lord will see that Raila's votes now come back to 56. He has lost 10. And that is in respect of URAT by center, 56. My Lord, I invite you to look at Rabai Road Primary School Voting Polling Station, which is on page 64 of document 5. And to compare it with page 138 of document 7, my Lord will notice that in Rabai Road Primary, Raila had 347 votes. And while President Kenyatta had 132. In document number, in the 34B, which is on page 138 of document number 7, 
Raila's votes now come to 282, while President Uhuru's votes come to 587. So Raila has lost 65, President Uhuru has gained 454. Mr. Otiende, yes, my Lord. I don't want to interrupt you, but that is all populated in the, in the affidavit. Yes. You, you, you want to continue your line, fine, but bear in mind that we have seen that it is stipulated. Maybe you want to make your point. Yes, indeed. My Lord, without referring you to the specifics, therefore, because the pages and all will be shown, I will invite you, my Lord, to take don't, and I'll do this very quickly, in Kerry South polling station, Kerry, Kerry South, Kerry South C. President Uhuru gains 11 votes. In Nyanchenge polling station, which is on page 55 of document 5, President Uhuru gains 11, Raila loses 15. In Rusinga primary, page 56, as compared to page 713, seven President Uhuru gains 141. No, sorry. President Uhuru gains 8. He had 141, he's given 149. In Amabiria, polling station, President Uhuru gains 100. He had 138. The results are given as 238. In Kaptembo, page 83, President Uhuru gains 200 votes. Raila loses 229. In Ilmotio, President Uhuru gains 10. In Kiegoi primary, <coughs> President Uhuru gains 8. In Kiriana, page 88, President Uhuru gains 2. In Wandiege, primary on page 3, Raila's votes are reduced by 1. In Angira primary, page 6, Raila's votes are reduced by two. In Tonye primary, page 72, Raila received 561 votes, but 341B is given only two votes. While President Uhuru did not receive any votes there, in 34B he's given 517 votes. In Nyabieyo primary, Raila receives 228 votes, 34B gives him zero. In Kiyanka primary, page 86, Raila's votes is reduced from 45 to zero. In Dandora 3 primary, page 90, Raila's votes are reduced by 214 President Uhuru's votes are increased by 212. In Funula constituency, page 54, the votes cast is shown as 13, and yet the total valid votes are 339. Sorry, let me rephrase that, my lord. Raila is shown as having received 13 votes in Funula uh, in that document, yet the total votes cast is 339. In member primary, my lord, and this is in my own constituency. Yes, my lord. <laughs> in my very own, my lord. And so that the prime minister does not think he didn't get votes there. My lord, the Prime Minister had 437 votes, and he's given only 20. And that story, my Lord, continues in Karachuonyo, 
in Mandera North and we have itemized them. It continues in Nyalenda, Chepturoi, and a host of others. My Lord, for the 25 only that we have selected, it shows a significant number of errors. which I will cumulatively summarize when, my Lord, I come to 34B. So that part of the evidence shows a number of constituencies, over 100 constituencies, where the variations in results show an increase to the third respondent and a decrease to the petitioner. The conclusion in terms of that, my Lord, is that these are not errors. These were purposeful mistakes. 